Hey guys, that's Dan Wolf and welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up with all the videos and whatever we have going on here. But one thing I wanted to do um, before we actually start on the cheat engine part of the video is because every time we film here in Mermaid Lagoon, uh, I always get a lot of um, questions about asking how we got the water like this and, um, you know, just, just how, how, do you, how do you make it look like that? Do, do we have a tropical water um, option? And the answer is uh, no, <laughs> we don't. Uh, and, but really all it is is billboards. I have just found a billboard texture that works out really well and I've made it uh, seamless and that's all it is. So it's just a billboard that I picked out and I barely, um, you know, see I just barely, you don't want to leave it up too high because see it's it's so bright that it just, it just it won't look right. So what you want to do is just, you know, when you get these going, bring them down little bit below the surface of the water and then yeah see now you get that cool kind of um cool kind of tropical water type of lagoon effect because see like right here let's just see if i can snap on a couple of these see the way it is see how this just would not definitely doesn't look as cool over here if your tropical water is gone like, see, really, right now, if you, if you know, if we just left it like this, and of course, you know, I guess you could go in, and and your your bottom would be a little sandy and all that. I mean, you could, you know, you could make it look okay, but you know, using the billboards, you go, you know, you're you're going from this to. <laughs> this so there is your tropical water solution for right now um, I don't know if we will ever get different types of water or if that will ever be in the work, works I uh, I assume that would be a planet coaster 2 type of thing if that ever happens um, just because you know Sam and those guys kind of it's a lot of stuff like you know like we hear a lot of people say in the vintage pack like oh man there's so much stuff that like geekism and a lot of those guys had come up with and had kind of had to fake it um, that it, it made it into it made it into the DLC pack, and you know that's really awesome. Maybe you know if if a lot of us kind of um, showcase and harp more on needing different style of water, and you know, um, just just different styles. Um, maybe that stuff will eventually uh, make it into the game. So yeah, you know we'll just keep that up, and hopefully Sam and the guys catch on, and maybe. Uh, like I said, in a, in a future title or a future update, future expansion, maybe we will get a uh, a more. May, I don't know if it, you know how they can set the engine up to do it or whatever, but maybe we could get a more um, just more variety of water um, than the like the, I think the four the four we have right now. But anyways, so yeah, that that is my that is Estan Wolf's quick little water tropical tutorial. So now, if you don't know. You know, that's how I make it look like that. But Cheat Engine, yeah, let's just, there's not really a lot to it. I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, you know, it's a program, it's free, and you just have to go to that down, go to the site, download it, install it. And basically, you can see right now we're getting about 23, 24 frames per second. So, I mean, you know, not absolutely terrible, but, you know, not as good as we'd want as far as, like, recording our, our cinematics and stuff like that goes. Um, we want to beef that up a little bit. And how you do that is, this is what Cheat Engine will look like to you when you, you know, when you first open it up and after it's updated. Um, you don't really have to worry about any of this stuff right here. If you worry about that, then you might want to look for, like, best cheat engine options, you know, all that, you know, in, in other videos. But as far as I go with this Planet Coaster stuff, all of this stays alone, stays the same. And the first thing you need to do once you go into your game is select a process to open, find, you know, Planet Coaster. If you have it running, it'll be right here. Click open, then enable speed hack, and it will, it'll default as 1.0. I change mine to 0.24 because that just seems like the best for me as far as recording and and getting the uh, getting the motions and all that going. So 
after you do that point 24 or whatever speed you decide on, just click apply. And you can slow out of that. And even the mouse, like it slows everything down. And look, 92, <laughs> 94, 88. And basically, yeah. So this will allow you to capture as many frames as possible. And in post edit, you know, you don't have to leave it like, um, you don't have to leave it uh, just as slow like this is. In the post edit is where you can go in and speed it up um, or just leave it slow. So um, what we'll do here is I will show you what I do is um, control shift G gets rid of all of the um, UI and to get these slow panning shots see my cursor here like I showed you in my cinematic video just kind of creep it over to the edge and there it's capturing all of these frames it'll leave you a, a much smoother um, cinematic you know transition type uh, type video and and same goes with like I don't have a coaster on this map but when I do coaster POVs and all that um, I use I, I use cheat engine I just uh, sometimes I even get up and walk away I'll go upstairs or I'll go grab something to drink because uh, you know depending on how long the coaster is it, um, it you know it takes it a while to record it because you know we've slowed the game down so much to capture these frames so yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then when you, um, if you want to, you know, have the UI come back, just hit the escape button. And uh, we'll show you here. When you're ready to come back out of it, all you have to do, the little enable speed hack button. Bam, just unclick it. Now, you're back to normal. <laughs> so that's that's really it guys like when I'm recording these videos um, cheat engine has become absolutely indispensable I, I think I heard it I, I first heard Delady Signer mention it you know probably two years ago and and I believe uh, Silverette a lot of those guys um, use cheat engine because it's just it, it's irreplaceable for as far as the uh, as far as the uh, the frames per second that it gets you and allows you to record these uh, these smoother type videos. So, anyways, guys, yeah, I mean, if if you um, if you need to know a little more, let's just start a comment thread down below and uh, and ask away, and I will try to answer the best I can. And if I don't know the answer, I will try to find you the answer. But this is uh, this is our little uh, kind of like the little trick to gather more frames for your cinematic videos. Now, obviously, if you're not a YouTuber, you're not looking to um, to make any videos of Planet Coaster, uh, Cheat Engine really doesn't help you any. So this is more geared toward the, uh, the, the content creator crowd. So yeah, but maybe you can, uh, like I said, if, if you're not a content creator, you can pick up on the little bit at the beginning as far as your billboards go and giving you some fake tropical water here so anyways guys yeah i'm s dan wolf thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me and checking out this tutorial smash that like button if you end up enjoying this video and i will catch you next time thank you see you guys